Hello friends, it's me Beth. Well today it is too rainy to take garden photos. We do have blackberries and raspberries that are ripe. Too rainy outside. We also have a mess down in the prepper pantry. I'm reorganizing that. So that left me with Amish country and I have a good one for you. This is Miller's Variety Store. It is actually the smallest Amish store I have ever shared. It's located in Kokomo, Indiana. Now they have food and non-food items and I will share both of those with you. Here we have some pepperoni bread. The only other place we've been able to find this exact bread is at Ship Shawana at the flea market. Now this year we did not see it, so we were really happy to go to M Miller's and get some. It has a great crust with maybe some sort of oil and different herbs and garlic. In the inside, it's stuffed with pepperoni and some various cheeses. It is awesome. Also, they have other breads. Here on the left, you can see a cinnamon raisin bread. And I just thought it looked beautiful with the different like knots. It's almost like you could pull it apart. And on the right, we have just a cinnamon bread. Look like maybe some cinnamon rolls um, on the end. They have regular breads like white and wheat. And here we have a wheat bread with flax. They have a large variety of cookies. Here we have some butter pecan chip cookies. These are sold by weight. Most of their cookies in the bags are anywhere from six to eight cookies per bag, depending on whatever variety you want. Um, but these looked excellent. Now, like all the other Amish stores I share with you, they have jams, jellies, and different kinds of salsa. I found a gooseberry jam and a sassafras jelly. Now, if I've shared these before, I apologize. I've done so many of these videos, I'm kind of losing track of the unusual finds in the stores. Here in the fruit salsa area, they have a medium red raspberry that's on the left. And on the right in the fruit salsa, they have some mild pineapple. I think I've shared a pineapple salsa before. And then in the other kinds of salsa area, I found a mild bacon salsa. Now they do have, you know, the traditional salsas as well. Um, then coming up, I'm going to share with you, they have this local raw honey in small and large containers. And then I noticed they had a lot of oils. They had sunflower oil, for instance, you know, quite lovely um, container. They do sell bulk baking good items, different kinds of flours and sugars, stuff like that. Now, some of them have the store packaging, but some of them have their packaging where they've taken it from the 50 pound bags and broken them down into smaller bags for you. They have lots of seasoning and spices, just like all the other Amish stores. It's just this small, uh, particular store is quite smaller. Now they didn't have limits on anything. It's a small little area, but they did have, um, they didn't have limits on anything except this yeast limit one yeast per person. So I can't help but wondering if maybe the stores around them uh, with a the pandemic, they had, you know, got low on yeast and they had trouble with people going in and buying a bunch of yeast. Uh, people around here know that the Amish store carry those baking, you know, items. Also, they have a really small little deli where um, if you are local and instead of going into town or a bigger store, you can go there. I believe they make sandwiches as well. Now, as far as some non-food items, there was something about this little particular or, uh, area in the corner that made me smile. A lot of the other stores don't have this. Um, it says, please write the price for a dozen buttons on your bag. Thank you. Uh, Miller's a variety staff. So you can see those boxes down there in the bottom. Those are old. Um, they have these small containers and they have buttons. They have the black, dark gray, light gray, white, um, and their little containers. And it says how much each, um, kind is per dozen. I think this was the most expensive, the three twenty-five a dozen, or you can buy them individually, 30 some cents or whatever. So it was just exciting for me to see this. And they also had the little safety pins. And then on the right there, they have, um, the snaps. So to us, you know, if I needed those, I could go to the dollar store or, um, you know, order offline or whatever, but because of where they're at and they don't order offline probably they go into this little store and get it now i was looking around for um just other things i thought was like unique to the store and i seen those brooms to the right of the thread 
um, it was quite shocking when I seen them. Here you can see they have the dyed cabin brooms for $34.75. That is not something you see every day, um, even in the Amish stores. Here in the clothing area, you can see they have things like ladies' slips. They had men's, women's, and children's socks, mostly black, gray, and white. You can see they have white, black, gray head coverings and some different kinds of hankies. It's a very small store so over like in the kitchen area they have just basically the essentials uh, you know measuring cups measuring spoons and then this one took me off guard um i am you know a bargain hunter so i buy a hundred clothespins at the dollar store whatever for a dollar two dollars and they're broke you know that year they actually have these clothespins there are a hundred of them for 50.99 um, those have to be the most expensive clothespins I've ever seen but maybe they're amazing I don't know I have to research that one here we have some doilies my grandmother is Mennonite she is the queen of doilies she loves a good doily they have box cards so here you can see things you know not just sympathies and stuff like that but you know for weddings and birthdays and baby showers and they have gift bags just like uh, you know you or I would do they had some gardening items not a lot this is a um cover crop spread so definitely something that i like seeing in these stores um, nobody gardens better than the amish around here and so that was quite interesting so as far as things that i haven't shared in other stores they had this ashire farm whole cow's milk and it says at the bottom not for human consumption you can probably figure out why but hey they sell milk there now they had these long freezers with um milk crates down in them and they had bags of stuff here you can see some chicken and on the right some pizza but they had like two long freezers and it was full of stuff that i just wouldn't think the amish people would really be buying from a little store um you would think they would grow their own chicken make homemade pizza but hey it's okay they had like i said sausage they have bacon um they even had some chicken patties i thought i'd share that with you just you know maybe one day someone needed a break i don't know and they didn't want to cook from you know scratch like all the other Amish stores, they have a lot of types of um, different types of vitamins and minerals and supplements. Um, they have CBD oil, uh, lots of salves, creams, ointments, stuff like that. Very typical. And you can see out that window. I mean, this little store is in the middle of nowhere. Not everything is healthy in the store. I was shocked to see that they actually carry Albanese candy. Albanese is from in northwest Indiana. And um, so when I seen Albany's on there, I had to take a quick photo. Um, a lot of the Amish stores have a lot of candy, but I haven't seen Albany's in their stores. And then last, I was quite shocked. Um, I guess I shouldn't say shocked. Uh, the store was so little, I wasn't expecting to see the rhythm clocks. I've shared mine. Um, it's gray. And then I had went to another Amish store on one of these videos, and I was looking to find a second one. Anyways, the store was so small, I wasn't expecting to see, but they did have three. You know, the other stores I go to, they usually have about a dozen because they're bigger stores. And the biggest stores have like two dozen rhythm clocks. So if you don't know what rhythm clocks are, look them up. They are amazing. So once again, this is Miller's Variety. It's in Kokomo, Indiana. I'll leave the address in the description. If you liked my video, give me a like. I appreciate you being here. Um, never can get enough of the Amish country shopping because I never know what I'm going to find. Take care, my friends, and I'll talk to you again real soon.